Hi everybody, Kat here. So today we're going to be talking about this particular stylus. This stylus is from Luminous Air. It is their No Mess Tip Stylus. And I was really curious about it. So if you're also curious, stay tuned. Very quickly, I've taken this apart just to see if it's pretty much like all the other styluses I have. And it is. You know, you've got your needle. You've actually got your little gold nut right here. You've got your handle. Uh, of course, I didn't take everything apart, so I know inside you've got, you know, a spring and a holder, and of course you've got this, which is pretty much the uh, tightening cover. And then, you know, right in here, this is actually going to be your nozzle cap, but the thing about it, I couldn't actually get that off. I don't know why. And then the little pretty pink thing, that's actually your regulator cap. So everything pretty much on here, like every other stylus that I have so nothing special that I see so again just kind of interested in why it's called a no mess stylus so because I don't have a luminous air compressor I'm going to be using the boleto we've got a dial right here so I can pretty much just kind of crank it on or crank it off whichever one I want to do and it'll allow me to pretty much push the makeup through if I need to if I'm working with the silicone or if I'm doing any of the shimmers that I've got here but I've got a whole host of different makeup we're going to try this with. So I've got two of the air guns right here next to each other. This one is a Boleto and this one's a Luminous Air. And I just wanted to see side by side, you know, visually can you see any differences? And so far, looking at it like this, you know, you don't see too much of a difference at all. And then if we hold them here to the top, you know, is there any differences? And the only thing I can see, you know, right off that bat is, is you've got a couple more lines in here for gripping versus the Luminous. And then I can see a little bit difference in the tips. So if you look at the tips, you can see a little bit difference in those tips. This one kind of has more of a bow, like a hoop skirt, if you will. Kind of comes out and then comes back in. And this one is straight. And you can probably see that just a little bit if you look down inside of it as well. So we're going to go ahead and do some actual testing with this as far as spraying. We're going to see how it works and then we'll make a decision whether or not we thought that this was a good buy. So the first color I'm going to spray is Dynair. This is actually their FX Yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit in the cup and we're going to spray it on this little grid here. And then also too, just for precision, I'm going to check it here on my circles. So you can see that I've gone ahead and added that into my cup. I'm going to go ahead and set the compressor at 3 o'clock. And we are going to go ahead and just spray a little bit into the tissue. And then we're going to go ahead and spray this piece of paper right here. And of course we're going to spray it in this first block. And so there you go. Now let's go ahead and try it for precision. We're going to try it here on the circles. And we will start off with the smallest one. And there we have it. So precision wise works pretty well. So the next color we're going to try is the Luminous. This is a shade 15. This is actually a pretty purple, but it does have some shimmer in it. So we're going to see how this works. So you can see I've added the color and I'm just going to spray a little bit right into my napkin or my Kleenex, I should say. I'm going to pick up this paper and once again, we're just going to go ahead and try and spray. And with shimmer, you have to remember, sometimes you get overspray just because of all of that pretty little fine shimmer that you see in the paper so I'm going a little bit smaller with that but if you can see that it's pretty so we're going to try it again on the precision test and I'm sorry I'm holding this at such a weird angle I, I promise you I'm usually much better with my precision test than this And of course, you're going to see that overspray there and where I held it a little too hard, not light enough on the trigger. But again, precisionly, it works pretty good. I don't see any problems there. So let's go ahead and go now to the Liquid Pearl. This is a Boleto color. We're going to go ahead and just spray the rest of this out. 
two dots actually does a lot because there was only two dots in there. You can hear, no more makeup. So we're going to go ahead and add this now. So I've added the liquid pearl and I love this color. It is absolutely my favorite uh, from Boletto. I think it's a beautiful color. So I'm going to go ahead and spray. Pick up my paper and we're going to do the same thing. And remember this one is also to a shimmer. The shimmer in this is a little bit finer actually than the one that's in Luminous. But you can see that. Really pretty. And then we're going to go ahead and take this paper and do the same thing with the precision test. And again, I'm so sorry, I'm at a strange angle. So there you go. Working out pretty well so far. Now, I have not cleaned out the stylus, by the way. So I have not cleaned out the stylus with any kind of cleaner yet. So we're just testing this, you know, basically every single one of these. And then just checking to see if we get dry tip or anything else. So let's go ahead and try the cat next. So I've gone ahead and added that to my cup as well. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to spray just a little bit here. And we are going to pick up our paper. And we're going to lightly start to spray. Now I will tell you that this one, this particular makeup, the Cat, it is a little bit thicker. You can probably almost see that between these two, where these are a little more sheer and the pigment is actually a little bit thicker in the Cat. And I'm going to come back over to this small one here, and we're going to spray. And again, remember, with glitter, it will, when there's shimmer, glitter, fine glitter, pigments, it will tend to overspray just a little bit, so there you go. So, so far, not an issue. And again, I have not, I have not cleaned this stylus in between. So waiting to see when it gets dry tip because with shimmers, it's just really easy to get dry tip pretty fast. So just blowing this out, making sure we're good. And then we're going to go ahead and try the Dynair. This is Opal White. And we're going to try this next. So one of the things you want to make sure you do is you want to make sure to shake these up. And I've not been doing that each time when, when I've been on camera with you. Just because I don't think you need to see me shake all the bottles. And trying to save a little bit of time with... And trying to save a little bit of time actually with the um, video feed. So I'm, again, I'm going to spray right here. Yeah, it's going to be hard to see this because it's opal white. So I don't know if you can see that or not. Maybe. Maybe you can actually see it on my skin a little bit better. This is really pretty too. I love this. So maybe you can see that. It's a really pretty, nice shimmer gorgeous color. So basically on the silicone makeup on Temp 2, the air compressor is going to be at a higher dial just because this is a much thicker makeup and we are going to see how that works. So I've added the actual color right here into the cup. I am going to change the dial to 6 o'clock, giving it just a little bit more pressure or as far as PSI. And we are going to spray that. And then we're going to go ahead and then we're going to spray the paper. And so there's your color. And let's go ahead and try it here. And if you don't let go of that lever the right way, you're going to get those hot spots. So you need to be really careful when you're actually doing this on a client. So again, pretty much, you know, there's control with this. 
not an issue but again be careful you want to make sure that you rock this the right way you don't have too much pressure on it too little it's got to be just right so you don't get these hot spots so what are my thoughts about this particular stylus? This stylus from Luminous Air is actually a pretty good stylus. Didn't have any problems with it. Certainly would welcome it into my makeup bag and would use it because I didn't experience a whole lot of dry tip with this. And actually in this test, I didn't experience any dry tip. I am sure that if I continue to use it with all styluses, you will get a little bit of dry tip. But this one did really well. Of course, you know, in these tests, you have to make sure you have complete control over your stylus so I think I would like to have some type of grip on this to give me a little bit of a better hold but other than that the stylus worked well $29.95 I believe on the website retails for $110 so it's a good buy I would certainly recommend it if you guys are interested in buying the Luminous uh, Air Stylus, I'll make sure to put that in my description with the direct link to where you can find it. Again, I would recommend it. The only thing I will say is when I bought this, um, it did not come right away, so it actually took longer than I expected. I kind of expected to get it in a week, and I think it took um, about 15 days for me to get this, so a little bit longer. You might want to expedite shipping if you want to get this faster, but I do think I got free shipping when I bought this because I met a particular criteria they had. I think it was $40 free shipping, but uh, maybe that's why it went snail mail. But again, certainly worth the $29 I paid for it. So guys, as always, thanks for watching.